Uh, hello everyone, I'm so glad to be here. I'm Yan Xing and I come from Peking University of China. The title of my uh, research is Acquisition of the Chinese Conjunction Hu and uh, by Russian speakers. And this is an empirical study under the framework, framework of generative grammar. And uh, the theoretical basis of this research uh, are the feature assembly hypothesis and uh, the dormant feature uh, the dormant feature hypothesis. Uh, the background of this study is the conjunction is one of the most common function, uh, uh, function words in Mandarin Chinese and uh, the conjunction E is, is equivalent in Russian, uh, but the functions of these two words are not actually the same. And there are some uh, important terms. The first one is uh, core, uh, which means the feature that represents the coordinate, uh, a coordinating relation. And the second one is DP link, uh, which, is mean, uh, which means the feature that can connect uh, determinal phrases. And the final one is CP link. Uh, it's to name the feature that can connect a complement, 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 complementizable phrases. Uh, and this is the, uh, the feature sets of the Russian conjunction E and the Chinese conjunction He, and we can see the CP link only exists in the feature set of uh, Russian conjunction E, which means uh, E can connect to CPs in Russian, but uh, the conjunction He cannot connect uh, to CPs in, in Chinese language. And uh, the, the feature assembly hypothesis explained that if the feature sets of the L1 and L2 are similar but are not identical, then the learner will map the features of the L1 to the L2 lexical item and uh, the feature will be reassembled if successful. And the dormant feature hypothesis claims that there's not always evident, uh, enough evidence to help learners confirm or disconfirm features in the L2 input. And these features gradually lose their uh, vitality and remain in a domain state. Hence, the learners into language may permanently divide, uh, divide it from, uh, from the target language. So uh, there are four research questions here. The, the first one, can learners successfully establish a mapping between her and he? Uh, the second one, can learners map the core feature and the DP link feature onto the L2 lexical item? Uh, the third one, can the learner, uh, can learners uh, map the CP link feature onto the L2 lexical item? And the final one, if learners map the CP link feature to the L2 lexical item, will it be successfully removed as the learner's language proficiency improves? Uh, and our uh, participants uh, are uh, 18 native Chinese speakers and 66 L1 Russian L2 Chinese speakers. According to the uh, closed test result, L1 Russian L2 Chinese speakers are divided into three proficiency groups, elementary, inter intermediate, and advanced. And here is the uh, mean scores of the closed test results. Uh, and we use three tasks in total. The first one is a translation task only for Russian speakers. And we ask the participants to translate a Russian sentence with the conjunction E into Chinese. Uh, there are two types here. The first type we use E to uh, connect to DPs, but uh, 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 in Chinese, uh, uh, in Chinese we also can use He to connect to DPs. Like and, and Anton and Anna are studying Chinese, and we can use He to translate this sentence. And the second one is uh, we use E to connect to CPs, but uh, in Chinese E cannot connect to CPs. So uh, we can see that the, this one is ungrammatical in. In, in Chinese because here we cannot use he to connect to CPs. And the uh, next one is a very important one, is an acceptability judgment task. We ask the participants to 
judge the acceptability of five types of sentences. The first type is uh, he connects uh, two DPs, which is also grammatical in Chinese. But the second one, we use he to connect two CPs, which is not an, uh, which is not grammatical in, Chi in Chinese language, just like this one. Andong is studying Chinese, and Anna is also studying Chinese. But uh, we cannot use he to connect these two uh, CPs. But uh, without her, this sentence is grammatical and uh, type four and type type uh, five, uh, they are uh, just single CP uh, as controls. And the final one is a sentence making task. And we ask participants to connect the given words into sentences. If the given words cannot make a grammatical sentence, then uh, they, uh, they will mark this marker. And there are two types in this this task. The first one, uh, also, we use her to uh, connect to DPs. And the, the second one, uh, we use her to connect to CPs, which cannot make a sentence. And uh, next part is the uh, results. The result of uh, the translation task, we can see there is no significant differences between each groups of the first type. But in the second type, uh, there is a significant difference between uh, each learner's group. A mean score of the elementary group was significantly lower than that of other two groups. And the result of the acceptability judgment task, which is the most important part of the results, uh, we, we can find no significant differences in uh, the first type and the thir uh, third type, but we find a very significant difference in the second type, which uh, using the uh, connect, conjunction he to, to connect the two CPs. There were very significant differences between the native speakers and the uh, learners group. The elementary group had a very significant difference from the intermediate, uh, intermediate and advanced groups. And no significant difference between the intermediate and advanced groups. And it is worth noting that a paired a sample t-test analysis show, showed that there were very significant differences in the acceptability between type, uh, the third type and the second type of each learner's group. Okay, the next, the, the last part of the results is the uh, sentence making task. There is uh, no significant differences of each group in the first type, but we fi find a very significant uh, difference uh, in the second type. Very significant differences between the native speakers and learners groups. So uh, in the translation task, the L2 groups could all translate E that connects DPs to her. This shows that in the initial stage, learners could match her with E and to map the core feature and DP link feature to the L2 lexical item. However, the mean score of the elementary group was significantly lower than that of other two learners groups, which indicates the CP link feature was attached to the elementary learners L2 grammars. In the acceptability judgment task, the mean score of all L2 groups of CP1 her CP2 was significantly different from the L1 groups. The CP link feature was active in the learners L2 lexical item. In addition, the elementary group had a very significant difference from the intermediate and advanced groups indicating that the, the vitality of the CP link feature decreases with the improvement of language proficiency, but the features vitality did not change after language proficiency reached a certain level. What's more, learners were sensitive to the difference, difference between CP1, her CP2, and CP1, CP2, but all learners could not reject CP1, her CP2, which means that the CP link features still randomly affect the judgments of these learners. According to the dormant feature hypothesis, 
if the evidence in the L2 input is not enough to confirm or deny features, this feature gradually loses its vitality and becomes dormant. Accordingly, it suggests that the CP link feature has entered a dormant state. And uh, in the sentence making task, the L2 groups could produce a sentence using her to connect DPs, just like the L1 group. However, even advanced learners still produce type CP1 her CP2, which is ungrammatical in Chinese. This means that even advanced learners could not completely remove the CP link feature from their L2 lexical item. And uh, this study investigated Russian speakers' acquisition of the Chinese conjunction her from the perspective of features. It found that at the beginning of the learning, uh, of learning. Learners matched her with the uh, Russian conjunction E. Also, learners mapped the feature of E, core feature, DP link feature, CP link feature onto the L2 lexical item her. As language proficiency improved, the vitality of the CP link feature decreases, but the feature still randomly affects the behaviors of advanced learners. It is believed that due to lack of negative evidence, the CP link feature has entered a dormant, uh, a dormant state. Okay, that's all.